Welcome back to another week of game pickups. So this week, it's a much smaller pickup, but some good stuff still nonetheless. So starting off is going to be simple stuff. Memory card. Got this at a local game exchange, $5. I pick them up every time I go in if they have the ones that are the Magic Gate with the PS2 logo and stuff on there. These look good in the cases. They'll look really good when I have one in every case. That's a long ways away, though. But $5, no big deal on that. Uh, I try and pick them up, of course, cheaper. Uh, but it's better than the 7 or 10 online that they are. So I picked that up. Um, I do have red and blue ones as well. I don't have any other ones. Maybe a green one. I don't know. Uh, then I picked up three NES games. They used to usually have a buy two, get one free deal, but they have discontinued that. Uh, yeah, not real excited about that, but I still pick up cheap games that I don't have, you know, common stuff that's, you know, $5 or less. So I got Super Team Games. Uh, uses the mat, which I just actually bought in the box, uh, $2.99. Uh, typically, this would be one of my free games, but since they discontinued that, you know, so be it. Uh, Destination Earth Star. Again, $2.99. The label's got a little bit of wear, but it'll be a good thing to sit on the shelf until I can find a nicer one. Uh, other than that, uh, the cases are good. They're not too bad on uh, markings or stickers or anything other than the one, which comes off pretty easily. This one does have two additional stickers. Well, three, actually. There's one on the back as well. You can see that there. This is Pipe Dreams. Uh, bulletproof Software, I guess, is the one that made it. $4.99, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's see, let's see if you can get that better view of that one. Uh, but those stickers there, uh, typically these long ones have the magnetic strip in there, and I'll pull those off, get those scrubbed up, make them look good. Uh, other than that, I picked up Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now, uh, these next three did not come from Game Exchange. They came from Half Price Books, which does sell games, of course. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. It was on clearance for $3. It is complete, has the book and everything, really good shape. Uh, the disc, it's the limited edition version. So I picked that up. Uh, I like playing it. My son Dalton likes playing it. He's sitting here behind the camera. So then I got Battlefield 3. It was on clearance for $2. And it has both discs to it. Uh, so the disc 2 is a single player campaign and 3 is multiplayer co op. So uh, it has the inserts. It does not have the books to it. Ah, they're not cooperating with me. So that's a downfall, but it's still a very playable game. Uh, like I say, he and I like to play it. Uh, I like any shooting games, especially first person like that. Uh, ever since Goldeneye, you know, I think we all like that one. The next one is for the PS2 collection. I had this game uh, in the disc only version of my junk over there, Flat Out 2. Now, Flat Out 2 was $4.99, and just like I always say, you know, it's got the manual, it's got the disc, it did look good, I checked that out beforehand, but it also has these really fugly stickers from GameStop. Now, the only good thing that they did, as far as sticker-wise, which they didn't always, is some of these, they left the uh, adhesive cover on the back, so... I was pleased that they did that, did not ruin my artwork here, uh, but I will take those off before I put them on the shelf. I'm kind of a stickler like that, or I'll even change up the case. Uh, but really good game, really good condition, $4.99. So all in all, I spent, you know, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 uh, probably about $30, and I picked up six games and a memory card. Uh, that's a really good week for me, uh, just because... If I can knock out the commons now for you know less than five dollars, I'm gonna do it. Uh, by all means, I do like to pick up the high end stuff, but we're not coming into Q1 or Rule of Rose or anything like that for you know less than eBay prices right now. People got real smart on that. If you do, I'll give you five dollars more than you got you gave for it. So I mean, you'll make some money. <laughs> I don't figure that's gonna happen. But thanks for tuning in. Tune in next week for even bigger pickups, hopefully, and we'll see you then.